The Dallas-Fort Worth community always says yes to supporting elementary students, and now that yes can win you a brand new 2022 truck. DFW Yes provides school supplies to more than 78,000 students across Texas. Give your yes today by purchasing raffle tickets in our Drive Away for Education truck raffle sponsored by Thomas J. Henry. The grand prize winner will choose from a new Ram, Chevrolet, GMC, Ford, or Nissan truck. Plus, you could win a shopping spree or gas card. Purchase your raffle ticket today at dfws.org. Pickle, let's go to the hotline. And let's go south. Uh, way south in a lot of ways, down to Jim Wells <laughs> County to talk with the new head coach of the Alice Coyotes. We're pleased to be joined by Coach J.R. Cassiano. Coach, how are you? Oh, I'm doing great, man. Thank thank you guys for for having me on, and, and thank you guys for, for all y'all do for, for Texas high school football. Uh, what has the last, uh, last few weeks, last couple months or so been like for you in your world? Oh, you know, it's it's a uh, it's a typical spring uh, semester, with, with, and, and with, you know, talk about all the different sports that that are going on. You know, a lot of people think that head football coaches or athletic directors get some time off in the spring after football season, but but really, it's it's a it's a busy time of the year for us with with baseball, softball, track uh, uh, that are going on, uh, and you know, especially when you when you get hired at another job and you're trying to uh, field positions and hire hire coaches and, and get your team uh, put together uh, and all that good stuff. So it's been 100 miles per hour, man. It's been, but it's been good. That's what that's the business we signed up for. So uh, you you are coming off of a, a really successful uh, stint at Taft, um, and, and before you get hired there at Allison, and you know the 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 board meeting happens. You're uh, you know unanimously unanimously approved. Everyone's talking about what a great fit you are for Alice. But I kind of want to flip that question on its head. Um, why was Alice the right move for you? You had a good thing going at Taft. What, what what was it about Alice that drew you to the Coyotes? You know, I, I grew up in the Coastal Bend and and, and small little uh, referio, uh, and actually I still live in referio. But growing up here in the Coastal Bend, I've always been intrigued uh, by just the the, the traditions uh, that that Alice brings to the table, uh, just the support from the community. Uh, the participation numbers that they've had, uh, the toughness of the kids, the blue collar type uh, community have always been intrigued by that being here in the coastal bend. Uh, so I've always, you know, when the, when the job opened up, thought it'd be a great fit for myself uh, and, and went after it. So, so yeah. You, uh, we, we mentioned your time at Taft. You, you took over a program that when you had arrived, they had won just three of their previous 20 games. Um, right. And, uh, you know, couple flash forward a couple of years, uh, and you end up winning 30 games in four seasons. Um, yeah. Let me just ask the dumb question. How'd you do that? What was the, what was the, uh, <laughs> what was the key to, to turning, turning around that program so quickly? You know, I really, I, I really think it's 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 building relationships uh, more than anything, and and not just uh, with the kids, but building relationships with parents, uh, uh, building relationship with the administration, so so they believe in you, right? And when you get to build relationships with people and, and positive relationships that I'm talking about, then uh, then people feel like they don't want to let you down. Uh, so I'm a big believer in, in building re- positive relationships with with kids, uh, with parents, with administration, um, and and that way they don't people don't want to let you down, and you get kids to to do anything for you and show up to work every day, uh, work hard, uh, and things like that. Now uh, I'd be remiss if it you know if it, you get a JJ Acosta mm-hmm. that comes through a program that obviously helps tremendously as well. Yeah, yeah, we've heard that too. That that, that <laughs> players make coaches look pretty good too. Exactly, exactly. Talk with Jared. So we've had some, we've had some great players there in Taft that have come through the program while I was there, and I always tell people too. You know, it's we get opportunities as coaches to 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 better our career. And it's nothing. It's, it's really nothing that we do. It's it's the kids that work for us every day and make us look good. So, I'm very, 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 uh, uh, you know, it's, it's been a tremendous benefit to have great athletes on my side. Talk with J.R. Castellano, the new head coach of the Alice Coyotes here on Texas Football Today. Get involved with the conversation at hashtag TF Today. So, coach, you, you get hired back in in early March uh, there at uh, at Alice. Uh, uh, when you when you talk to your guys there at, at at Alice and you address them for the first time as their head coach, what was your message to them? 
you know, it's, it's been the same message uh, that I've, I've given at all different types of schools. And, and uh, number number one was attendance, you know, and I think people take attendance for, for granted. Uh, it, it was basically, hey, guys, you got to be here every single day. Our, as coaches, uh, we, we, we're, we, we must be here as well, but the kids got to be here every day in order for us to, to, to work with you. And number two was discipline. You know, we're going to, we're going to make you walk a straight line. That's the only, that's the only way I know, um, how to coach, you know, it's going to be a, uh, a discipline type deal where we tell you exactly, uh, how to do things and, and when to do them and what time to be here. And, and, and if you don't do that, then there's going to be consequences, uh, for that, uh, effort, you know, effort was tremendous. Uh, we got to have tremendous effort in everything we do. Got to have a great attitude in, in all that we do. And we're trying to be the toughest kids in, in South Texas. So it, it's just that same old message about attendance, discipline, effort, attitude, and toughness that, that we preach on a daily basis. So, um, you know, I know you're still getting to get to know your, your team and, and, and understanding exactly what you guys are going to have come, come the fall. Do you have a feeling quite yet on where this 2023 Coyotes team is going to hang their hat, what what they're going to be about, what what's going to where they where they have a chance to be really special. Yeah, I, I think it's uh, I, again. I I think it's just the toughness and the work mm-hmm. ethic that the Alice uh, that Alice is going to bring uh, to the table on on a, on a weekly basis. I mean, these kids show up every day. They work their tails off, and I've been at different places and different programs. But this place is just a little bit different. Uh, the community support, the toughness of the kids, the work ethic. So that's what we're going to lean. That's what we're going to lean on the most is is uh, participation numbers, the toughness, outworking our opponent, uh, and showing up and, and and let that take care of the take care of the scoreboard. It's Jer Castellano, the head coach at Dallas here in Texas football today. Get involved in the conversation in hashtag TF today, uh, coach. You are a defensive guy. Um, you, you, you've you kind of cut your teeth on, on the defensive side. This is a, a a team that last year under Coach Kyle Atwood uh, was pretty darn good defensively. How yep. do you kind of build on that? And 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 from a defensive philosophy perspective, uh, what are you going to be preaching to your guys? I think anytime you talk about defense, uh, you got to make sure that 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 you're sound uh, in everything that you do. Uh, defense obviously is just about tackling you know it, it, we don't get uh, too fancy with what we do on defense we just preach tackling and making sure that we bring still bring a, 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 phys, a physical part of the game that we know has been uh, taken out a little bit from our game here in the past but uh, just just lining up in sound uh, in a sound defense uh, and, and and getting after people you know getting to getting to the football not changing a whole lot of what they've done. Uh, trying to do all the little things uh, right uh, and not getting beat uh, because of, of, of being misaligned or anything of that nature. Uh, and finally, Coach, uh, you know, you mentioned that you are uh, you're a Coastal Bend guy. Um, you uh, your your new district there is is in district uh, uh, there in District 16 4A Division One. Uh, you'll get a snoot full of the Coastal Coastal Bend, that's for sure. Uh, teams like right. teams like Cal Allen, uh, you know, Laferia, uh, yeah, uh, Tillerson Midway, etc. Um, when you take a look at, at, at and I know you're focused on your guys right now, but when you take a look at yep. District 16, 4A Division One, uh, I'm interested in how you how you see what you guys are going to be up against when district play rolls around. You know, Cal, Cal Allen is, is Cal Allen, right? I mean, they're, they're, we, we all know what they bring uh, to the table and what they've brought to the ta- table for, you know, for the past 30 years. Uh, so we know that that's always going to be uh, a, a tough opponent uh, for us. Uh, TM is on the rise. Uh, you know, they're, they're getting a lot of kids uh, there and, and they're getting out, getting them out to participate. Uh, so they they've definitely are on the rise there at Teloso Midway. Uh, Laferia down down south. Uh, we just went to a track meet there, and, and I tell you what, those guys can run <laughs> down there, boys and girls. So any anytime you got good track programs, uh, that always equates to, to to somewhat of a good football program. Uh, so we're going to have our hands full uh, each week and week out, and we'll, we'll definitely respect our opponents, but we'll do all we can do to outwork them uh, and out hit them, uh, and making sure that we come out on the on the right side of the scoreboard. He's Jared Castellano. He's the new head coach of the Alice Coyotes. Coach, we sure appreciate your time. Congratulations again on the new gig, and uh, can't wait to see what you guys do uh, down there in Alice. Yes, sir. I, I, again, I thank you guys uh, for having myself on. Thank you guys for all that you do for uh, Texas high school football. 
I appreciate everything that y'all do. Absolutely. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you would like more and to be notified when they come out, go ahead and click that subscribe button right down there. You can also watch Texas Football Today every day live at noon on TexasFootball.com, Facebook, Twitch, and right here on YouTube. For more of the best coverage of Texas football in the Lone Star State, go to TexasFootball.com slash subscribe.